Is that what I am? I'm Dr. Vazi. All right, Dr. Vaz is in the house of finance Woo! with yeah. New York Stock Exchange Einstein, and we're going to. Einstein the doctor. It's like a, it's like Chico and the Man. It's an old TV show. Let's go. Well, do you think we could patch up the markets today, Doctor? I don't think there's a problem with the market. We're green here. Yeah, I think we had an opportunity yesterday. So we've had a couple of days of sell side. What's more important to me is we've had a couple of days of reversals. Right, so we've seen the market react. We, we, we had two days where we opened up and ended up selling off drastically into the close. And that's felt significant to me. It's sort of, we saw a lot of rotation in money. We saw the, the FANG ETF and the FANG stocks get really hurt a couple days in a row. But yesterday we saw a reverse on that and we saw a big sell side in equities. We had a big imbalance on the close yesterday. There's about $2 billion worth of stock for sale on the close and the market actually, it never flipped, it, it, the market responded accordingly and we sold off and we closed near the lows, right? It's not where the market opens, it's where it ends up. We've been opening down some mornings, ending up, right? There have been some, some sort of uh, anxious sell-offs midday, right? We saw that thing about Flynn the other day and it was sort of like, we got sucked into this vortex, but it finds value at some point without really selling off too much. We were down 350, I think, at one point the other day off the Flynn thing. But, you know, as, as we've seen all year long, people start stepping in at a level, and we ended up only closing down 80. That's significant. The last two days, we've seen reversals from up to down, which we haven't seen for a while. We've had three consecutive slightly medium reddish days. I thought after yesterday we may, this may be a situation where we're like buy the rumor, sell the news. The tax thing is sort of dwindling. It's getting to the consummation of whatever is going to happen, even though I don't know if anyone really knows what's really going to happen. And I thought maybe we're going to be in a, in a sell-off mode for a couple of days, but we see no follow-through at all. Right? I thought we were going to have some anxiety and some sell-off and some pause today or some further sell-off. We're not seeing that. We are sort of in pause mode, maybe in a little bit of consolidation mode. It is the beginning of December, but the market, no matter when we have any kind of sell-off, is finding value. Buyers are stepping in. They're there. Okay, so Especially, and if anyone needs a doctor, talk to Dr. Bob. <laughs> It's a doctor in the house. Doctor is in the house. Oh, Peter. Well, listen, December has never, it, there, it's never been a, a bad month for stocks. I think that is, I know you're a numbers guy, right? So Historically, it has not. Has, is, I don't know if that's a fact, but traditionally, December is usually a good month. Uh, whether it's a markup or a, or a rally or people hopping on board to close out their positions, it's traditionally been a positive month. We've, the last three years, we've ended up, and I mean, you know, it's not to say that at the end of the month there isn't a bit of, you know, money being taken off the table. It kind of felt that way yesterday. You know, you're seeing rotation out of tech. The outperformers were sold a couple last couple of days. The underperformers have been bought. That's people taking money off the table. If I was a manager, a fund manager, and I've had the year that I should have had, right, or I was in, in some of these S&P indexes, uh, I've had a great year. Why wouldn't I take some money off the table? Yeah, they call it uh, window dressing, right? No, window dressing is when you are long stock and you and stocks are underperforming and you want to make yourself look a little bit better and you buy things up and you mark them up on the close. That's not what we're seeing. This market is up on its own. They don't need to dress any of these windows. These windows are Christmas windows all day long here. Market's up 6,000 points. And you don't need to dress these windows. All right, so we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> Let's be honest here. All right, so I'm going to go. Got dressed. I'm going to go home and string up some lights then. <laughs> you do that. All right, deal. Thank you so much, Peter. My pleasure.